So guys, I imagine that you bought an analog plugin one day and wondered what the hell it actually does and why my sound sounds much better than it was. And uh, you're probably thinking, yeah, it has some analog magic in it and developers just done something, something that nobody can comprehend or something like that. But what if I tell you that there is a tool that you can utilize an, as an x-ray for such things and reveal what kind of magic this or that plugin actually does. And also the best part about this tool I want to present to you is that it's totally free. So shout out to my friend Ocean Black for showing me this plugin because now my production has actually changed a lot. Me, the EQ Curve Analyzer by Burton Audio. It's a pay what you want tool, so you can grab it for free, but I highly recommend donating to the developer if you find it useful. Simply put, this is a lie detector for your VSTs. It shows you the exact curve of frequency response and phase of any plugin or hardware gear. No more playing on placebo effect. So do you want to know what your plugin does when you increase the gain by 3 dB? Or you want to see the hidden filters on your compressor? This tool is everything you need in this case. Setting this up is easy as making a sandwich. Here's the chain. Step 1. Load the first instance of the EQ curve analyzer. Set it to generator mode and this makes sure that this sends the test signal. Step 2. Right after that, place the plugin you want to test. In my case, I will use the better maker. Step 3. Finally place the second instance of the analyzer and set this one to analyzer mode. Boom! Look at the line. That is exactly what the plugin is doing to your sound. Now, why should you care? Three reasons. Number one, education. Turn on an SSL or Poltec emulation and just twist the knobs, watch the curves, you instantly understand their character, why the shell sounds so musical or how the Q factor changes. It connects your eyes to your ears. Number two, debunking magic. Sometimes that secret sauce plugin is just a simple EQ boost in the highs and the cut in the lows. When you see it on the graph, the magic trick is revealed. Number three, matching. You can use the group feature to overlay curves from two different EQs. This is perfect if you want to match a stock plugin to an expensive vintage emulation. One quick note, once you use it, you won't hear your music. The plugin generates a test signal to do its math. So don't panic when the audio stops. The verdict. This tool is a must have. It forces you to stop guessing or so to say, mixing with your eyes closed, metaphorically speaking, and understand your tools on a deeper level. I leave the link in the description, so go check it out. Also, if you download it, let me know in the comments. What's the biggest surprise you have seen after you applied this tool on your favorite plugin. Did you catch any fake analog gear? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos such like that. And thank you guys. See you in the next one.